All right, this one's gonna be on a command line program to uh, download screenshots or box art of your ROMs, uh, aka, you know, all your games for different consoles like Super Nintendo, uh, N64, so on and so forth. Uh, right now, they support a couple here, right? Game Boy games, Nintendo, Sega, and so on and so forth. Um, the thing that's different between this one and uh, the built in emulation station is that. The emulation station one, it's really slow, and this one uses hashes, uh, so it doesn't have to guess by file name by file name, um, and that's why it makes it quicker, right? Anyways, uh, go and install Go, or Golang, depending on uh, your distribution, you might have different names. It's either Go or Golang, right? And uh, this is how you build it and fetch and all that. Now, usage is very simple. You CD into the ROM directory, and you just type in Scrapper. Uh, if you're using MAME or arcade games, so MAME itself or Final Burn Alpha or Neo Geo or the Capcom system, uh, you will want to use the MAME flag. And I'll show you how to do this here. Pretty simple. Uh, give me an example though. This is my emulation station. And uh, what we're going to do, um, we're going to do uh, Atari Lynx. I don't have one for now. I just deleted that one, but right. If you go in here, you have the file names and everything, but um, there's no screenshot or box art of it. So that's what we're gonna do. And that one's for like regular console, but if this goes to one for meme here. Okay, we have the Capcom system one here, right? This one is a main kind of thing, so you can't really change the file names. So even you try to read these file names, you don't really know what the hell it is here, right? Uh, once we're done, we're gonna have uh, screenshots of it and also like the names of it correctly um, placed. It'll look something like this when it's done, right? This is uh, system two here, and it has the name and then you know the picture and everything. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's uh, exit out of this here and quit. Yes. So let's go back to this. Uh, we're gonna do the first one here. Pretty simple. We're gonna go into our ROMs folder. And where is that one? Links. We're gonna go into our links folder, right? And in here, let me PWDF for you. So we're in our Atari Links um, ROMs folder. And you can see that these are all my ROMs here, right? And all you gotta do is run in Scrapper. Um, now they do have different options if you want, but really all you gotta do is run in Scrapper. But you do uh, dash H here to show um, other options. Uh, if you're using the no intro, uh, was that database? Then you can use the uh, no intro names here to true, right? And if you ever collect ROMs on uh, your computer, you want to get the one that says no intro because that's. Uh, you know, it saves you time without having a, a lot of multiple versions for different countries and everything. Anyways, uh, you can use that option if you want, but really all you gotta do is CD into the folder and, and type in Scrapper like this, and I'll do his thing, right? Now this one's like, I think like maybe a hundred ROMs or something like that. So this one will be quick, but this is what it looks like. It will find it uh, based on hashes. And, and that's it. They'll get the, the album art and everything. So let me show you an example of what he's looking at here. If we do Ranger, it'll create this folder called Images, and inside it, it'll just uh, download all the um, you know, the box art for it here, right? And once it's done, it's gonna generate a uh, XML file, and that's gonna be your uh, how they display the names and everything, right? Uh, for that. So this one should be done. There you go. It's done. Now, the bottom here it has this XML file here, right? And this is basically this is what it look like. Uh, uh, you know the names of it when you have uh, emulation station running and all that. And let's go on for uh, what's the other one? Capcom, Capcom System One. Right now it doesn't have anything in here, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, what was that? We'll see into that folder. So we're now we're in the Capcom folder, right? And all you gotta do is run this other command. Now I like to do it backwards. I mean they have it here for like this, but I like to use um, the marquee the last, 
and the screenshots the first so it goes screenshots title uh, and then the marquee so that's what I like to do when I'm doing this and this one should be short also I think it's like a hundred ROMs in here and it grabs it way quicker than um, the default emulation station like I said um, what else are you talking about in here I mean that's pretty much it I mean if definitely if you're using like a, one of those uh, single board computer like Raspberry Pi or something like that you want to use this program over the default because it'll actually slow it down uh, real bad and I think that's the main reason why this person created because uh, they had like a Raspberry Pi or something and it was just too slow and uh, that's why they made this script and uses hashes and everything anyways I think it should be finished in S now we'll wait for a little bit and then uh, you know once it's done it's done now some of them it doesn't find everything that's why it says hash is not found and if it's not found then it's not gonna download for uh, that game and you know it's not gonna have the uh, box art or screenshots for it right but anyways that's it it's done and you can see it has the uh, was an image folder here right and this is all the images that it'll display so let's open up emulation station now and now we should be able to uh, see those results so let's wait here hurry up you know that's the one thing I hate about uh, emulation station is the XML file it's too goddamn slow Especially if you have like over 30k ROMs, like with my uh, main ROMs. That's why I'm not loading the mains right now, because it'll literally take like five or ten minutes to load that stupid thing. Uh, I heard they say they're gonna change it to a different type of database instead of XML, and hopefully, like uh, I think they're using SQL or something like that. Anyways, point is uh, now it should work. So where is that? We did links and then we did um, the Capcom shit, right? So let's go into here, and now you can see it has all our, um, you know, box art and everything, right? And let's go to the other one. What was the other one? Capcom. There we go. Capcom 1 here. And like now you can see that it has all our, you know, box art that it found. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the program, really. It's not that hard to use. Um... That's it for this one if you're a gamer.